Hi, it's Nick from Nick's Nutrition and in this video I'm going to show you how to make baked eggs. This recipe is super simple to make and it tastes amazing either for a hot breakfast, a light lunch or even a brunch and all you'll need is one white onion, one red pepper, 400 grams of chopped tomatoes, I've gone for the ones with herbs already added, you'll then need a handful of spinach if you like it, two to four eggs depending on how hungry you are and a quarter a teaspoon of ground cumin and ground coriander and finally some natural yoghurt to serve. You'll also need some cooking oil or I've gone for spray oil just for frying. So to start you want to peel and slice your onion. Once all your onion is chopped you just want to add it to a pan and fry it for five minutes until it's golden and soft. Whilst the onion is cooking, you want to preheat your oven to either 190 degrees C or 170 if it's a fan and you just want to slice your pepper and de-seed it. It doesn't really matter what colour pepper you use but I just like the red ones just because they're really sweet. Once the onion is soft and golden, you just want to add your chopped red pepper. You want to fry the peppers for a few minutes until they're nice and soft and then all we're going to do is add the chopped tomatoes and the spices and the optional spinach. Once everything's in the pan, give it a good stir and then leave it to simmer for five minutes. Once the mixture has finished simmering and you'll know when it's done if you're using spinach because the leaves will be really nice and dark and green, you just want to get two baking dishes, basically dishes that can go in the oven, and then we're just going to divide up the mixture into these two. These two dishes are piping hot, and um, all you want to do is make a small little well in each of the dishes, and then crack in one to two eggs into each dish. Once your eggs are in the dishes, you want to pop them in the oven and bake them for between 10 to 15 minutes until the whites have set. So once your eggs are out of the oven, and mine took about 12 minutes today, you can season them as you like with a bit of salt and black pepper, and then I'm just going to add a bit of natural yoghurt to mine. This dish is packed with protein and it comes in at just over 100 calories. I'll put all of the nutritional information on my blog as well as pictures and method and ingredients which is nixnutrition.com and I'll link it down below. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and give this simple recipe a go. If you do, don't forget to tag me in your pictures either on Instagram or Twitter. I'll put my links down below and if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next week.